Hi guys, so for today I have another fall tutorial and it is a dark burgundy look, really vampy. I hope you guys enjoy it. A lot of you have been requesting me to film really close when I do my eye makeup looks, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Let me know how you guys like it. Um, I feel like it might have been a little bit too close, but just leave me your feedback down below. It was my first time, so spare me. But yeah, this is how the look turned out. I really like it and I hope you guys really do enjoy it as well. If you like how the look turned out, just give me a like, thumbs up, please. Let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre. I almost said Painterly Paint Pot, but this is the Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm going to be using all Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette shadows for today. I'm just taking an E40 and taking the shade Salted Caramel and just putting that right on top of my crease, kind of above it slightly in the crease, just kind of fluffing it around in there, picking up more product and deepening it up as I want. And then I'm taking this really gorgeous maroon shade and I'm switching to the E35. And a tip that I have to work with this shade, just because it's a little bit darker, is to build up the color. So I kind of take a little bit on the brush, put it on, blend it out, take a little bit more. As you can see, I'm taking a little bit more now. So I'm just kind of building it up slowly instead of taking a bunch of product and just popping it on there. So it really helps just to kind of build it up. And then I'm blending it out with my E40. It helps to kind of go back and forth with the E35 and then blending it out with the E40 again. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch to another brush. This is the E25 and it's just a little bit more tapered. I'm going to kind of pack a little bit more color on the crease and just to deepen it up a little bit. And it's kind of the same idea. Start working with a little bit of product and build it up. And then I'm taking the color White Chocolate and I'm going to be putting that all over my lid with the Sigma. I think... I said Sigma so weird just now. I think this is the E57. I'll leave it down below what brushes I use, but I'm just packing that on just because I want the lid to be just really nude. And then I'm taking the Cherry Maroon shade again and putting a little bit more in the crease, deepening it up. You can deepen it up to your liking. I'm also just going to take the E40 again just to blend everything out because you can really never blend enough and putting a little bit more on the lid just to kind of make it pop again because some of the color might have faded with the crease shade. So I'm just putting that on and one last blend of course and this is how the eye look should look. Just kind of a blown out maroon smoky crease. So for the brow bone and the tear duct, I'm just taking the shade white chocolate and marzipan that's a weird name but I'm just gonna put that into the um, tear duct and brow bone and then starting with the face now I'm gonna be using my Maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 15 popping that underneath my eyes in a triangle triangular motion and I'm gonna be blending it out with my Jessup tapered kabuki I'm also just gonna use that kind of edge just to sharpen the eye look up on the edges And then taking my Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder in my Sigma F05 brush, I'm just going to set my under eye with that. This is really going to help brighten the under eye as well because this is a yellow based powder and I absolutely love it. And then to set my entire face, I'm going to be using of course my one and only Ben, um, ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Cameo with my Sigma F30, or F20, sorry, I'll leave all the brushes I use down below. But this is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer, and I'm going to be just bronzing my face with that and the perimeters of my face. And then in a bit, you'll see me kind of contouring with my Anastasia Contour Kit, and I'm just going to use the shade that I point to in the clip. And for blush, I'm going to use my Jordana blush in the shade Sandalwood. And highlighter, of course, I'm going to use the Balms Mary Luminizer with my Sigma F35 brush. And I'm just going to pop that on the cheekbones and I'm also just going to kind of put it in a C motion right around that edge of my brow there. And then we're going to go back to the eyes. 
And we're going to finish it up with putting some black liner in the tight line. It was really hard for me to film this, like I guess just with the angles, because I'm so used to getting super close to my mirror. So forgive me if the angle is kind of off, but I'm just going to put that on. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to be using Salted Caramel and just putting that on really lightly. And then we're going to take the maroon shade and putting it on right on top of it. Just to smoke out the lower lash line. And then I'm going to kind of clean up the lid just again with that uh, white chocolate shade. Just to make sure that the lid is for sure nude and some of the other colors didn't kind of go on top of it. And then I went ahead and did my lashes and mascara off camera. I used the L'Oreal Miss Manga and Quo Lashes. I'll leave them down below. Now I also lined my lips with the Milani Transparent Liner. I actually wish that I used a colored liner just so I can sculpt my, li my lips a little bit more, but I didn't have one, so I used what I had. I'm just muting out my lips with the, um, with the powder. And then I'm using Wet n Wild Cherry Bomb Lipstick. I absolutely love this lipstick. It's $2, super pigmented, and it lasted all day for me. Absolutely love it. I'm just kind of lining and shaping my lips with it and then popping it on. And later you'll kind of see me using a small lip brush just to help um, kind of sculpt it a little bit more and help put it on in a way that's going to help sculpt it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the completed look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, please give me a like, thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. So today I have a fall drugstore tutorial for you guys. So today I'm going to be using all drugstore makeup items in this tutorial, except for one item. I know, I feel like I'm